In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do these sticker nails. Hey guys, it's Maggie Rose. Welcome back to my channel, back with another nail video. I'm outside, first of all, okay, so this is gonna sound really stupid. The reason why I'm outside is because my hair looks awful and I wanted to wear my hat, so. That is the only reason why we're outside. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys how to do these sticker nails, which I think are super cute. My mom got me a pack of these for Christmas, and I hope the audio is not weird with the grill. Yeah, you are on my grill right now too. But I wanted to try these out really bad because I've seen people use them and I've always wanted to use them. So it's kind of sticker nails. It's more like a tattoo for your nail. Yeah, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. I was wondering how this would work out, but it actually looks way better than I thought it would, to be honest. So what you're going to need to do this is a couple things. So you're going to want a buffing block. You're also going to want a pair of tweezers. You're also going to need a little bowl of water along with a pair of scissors and then you'll also need some acetone 100% acetone oh and you're also going to need a brush like this one I'll have everything linked below for you along with a couple other tools that I use and I'll also try to link some of the tattoo art that I like from Amazon that I might get more of I'll link that in the description box as well but the first thing that you want to do is take one of those little pieces for your nails and cut it out now I went and I did cut the rounded edge for the cuticle some nail tattoos do not have that and just have a square rectangle don't worry about that I'll show you how to get around that in a second but what you want to do is just just cut those out, set them out so they're ready to go. I also wanted to mention that before I started the application of this tattoo sticker, I already did the dipping process on each one of my nails, but I stopped after I activated and buffed and filed my nails. And I actually went to bed that night and woke up and this is now the next morning that I'm doing the tattoo sticker part. So I just like lightly buffed my nails before I started this process to get off the extra oils from when I was sleeping or doing random things throughout the morning. So I just lightly buffed my nails and now I'm actually ready to go ahead and apply the tattoo. When you're ready to go, put one of your little pieces, not both of them, because you don't want to have to work that fast. Take one piece and place it inside of your water container and kind of submerge it, push it down under the water and let it sit there for about 15 seconds. It doesn't have to be exact. And then when that 15 seconds is up, take that nail out of the water and you can shake it off a little bit. And then you very carefully carefully place it in between your index finger and your thumb finger and you kind of want to push them apart and it will easily and I mean very easily slide off the backing which I thought was super strange like it came apart in two pieces when it felt like it was only one thick cardstock piece of paper and I didn't think it would work that way but it was awesome so once it, you slide it out then you take your tweezers and you very gently pick it up and place it on your nail and now I'll kind of fast forward this and show you that the first nail didn't exactly work out because I didn't really know what I was doing and that's fine it might happen to you too but it started to dry out as I was working with it and then I was pushing too hard with my buffing block and I was pushing too hard with some other things that I was trying to get it to stick down on my nail so then it started cracking a little bit so I just went ahead and I ditched that one and I did a new one so I went and I cut a new piece put that piece in the water for 15 seconds and you can put a little bit of water on your nail to begin with too if you put a little bit of water on your nail just a tiny bit just so it's damp and not wet then it might help stick a little bit better to your nail. But once you place that tattoo over your nail, I like to take my buffing block and on the end of my buffing block, I like to push down as hard as I, well, not as hard as you can, but pretty firmly push down an even pressure on the whole surface of your nail. So it kind of smushes the tattoo in place on your nail so you don't have to worry about pushing one side down and having the other side pop up. So if you put even pressure on the whole nail all at once and just hold it there for a couple seconds, I found that to be the best way that this works for my nails. So then once that is done, you may see a few wrinkles and that is when your brush comes in handy because you can kind of very, very, very gently try to smooth out those wrinkles. So you can push from the very center of your nail out to the outside of your nail and try to just kind of move it back and forth and push it out or brush it. Like just try different ways of doing it. Malachi's awake. 
Malachi's with me now, I'm back inside. Still gonna keep the hat on, cause the hair is still disgusting. Where was I? Oh yeah, so the next thing I did was I cut off the excess sticker or tattoo that was hanging off my nail, but I did not want there to be a lot of sticker to have to work with. And that was actually a really good thing that I did because whenever I went and did my other hand, I didn't do that and I started to mess up that nail and it started to rip because I didn't cut it off and it was too heavy. So I highly recommend cutting off the excess sticker tattoo before you go and try to clean up the edges. And to clean up the edges, this was the fun part to me because I didn't know that this was a thing. You take your little brush and you dip it in acetone and I just put my acetone in the cap that was on top of the acetone. You don't need to go out and buy one of those fancy little glass dishes. Although if you want to, go for it, but you don't need to do that. I just use the cap of my acetone and then you take your brush and you just go around the cuticle line and the sides of your nail and even the top edge and side free edges of your nail and you just kind of rub away the tattoo because it dissolves it, which is the coolest thing. But it was just really fun. I really liked doing it. Yeah, but you just want to be careful with it because it can like take off the stuff that you already have on your nails. But then after that step, up, you're done. You move on to the next finger and then the next hand and then you're done. And then you just do your top coat as normal. My very favorite top coat is linked below, but, but you do your gel coat or you don't have to do gel, but I always recommend doing gel. I do not know what a dip powder top coat would do to the tattoo. I have not tried that. I always use a gel top coat just because it's my go-to. It's my favorite. My nails always look super shiny and I've always had good luck with the gel top coat that I use. It's again linked below, but I just love them. I think they're so cute. I, try, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there's something that I forgot to tell you. Oh yes, 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 yes. So whenever you're smoothing out the wrinkles on your nails, you also wanna try to push the tattoo down in the cracks of your cuticle and the side of your nail before you take the acetone to try to remove around those areas. Just so you cover your entire nail and it's not only sticking down the middle strip and almost to the edge, like you wanna cover the entire edge all the way down to the cracks and the cuticle. But yeah, so if you guys try these, go over to my Instagram, send me a message, and send me a picture of your manicure that you use these on. I love them. I thought it worked great. I am excited to try more. I do wanna get some flower ones for spring though because that would be so cute. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. I will see you next time for another nail video. Although in a couple days I am posting a video on things I will not be buying in 2021. So that might be an interesting video if you're interested. Make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are turned on so you get notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, keep smiling, keep finding the joy. Thanks guys, bye. Um. You want a baby? Oh, you see the baby. You can go play with her. Ari's taking a nap. She won't care. I mean, she will care, but she's sleeping, so go for it. You want to eat? That's how he says yes. And... Huh?